Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Hi, Freddy. First magnet fishing video of the season. Y'all have been asking for it an absolute ton. Don't worry, Dad and I heard you. Back in the saddle again. Back in the saddle <laughs> again, baby. Look at all the geese out here. So we came here what, a week ago, right? Yep. We'll get to the dock down here, but I broke my boat a week ago, and this was the closest boat ramp slash dock available for me to get towed to, to load it out. Anyways, long story short, a bunch of people were here partying on this dock. We're about to magnet fish first. Yep, that one right there. By the way, look at all of the geese, my goodness. Fred, don't even think about it. That's what we need to be doing. We need to buy us some bows. I'd love to. That'd be so much fun. I know. There, a guy is uh, walking the bank edge right down here. All by himself. I don't see a GoPro on his head or anything. Bow fishing. Drop a comment down below if you want me and Dad to buy some new bow rigs and do some bow fishing. But here we go. Dad, here you go. All you, buddy. Untangle. <laughs> yeah. Mm. This is the uh, first magnet video of the season. And uh oh, we got issues. Oh, we got issues, Dad. Yeah, it's a mess. We got the, is that the double-sided one? Yes. We got the double-sided, what was that thing? 500 pound, 700 pounds, something like that? Yeah, I think it was close to 500 pound pool. And then we got, me and Dad, we got both, what are those, 800? 800, no, no, no. they're no, both. That's 1,000, that's 1,300. I think they're both the same size now, aren't they? Uh, they might be, but I think you went up to 1,200, I went to 1,000. Okay, yeah, 1,200 and 1,000. So that's what we'll be chucking around today is the thousand pound and the 1200 pound pull magnets. Yes, they make bigger ones, but I'm telling you right now, uh, you go get the 2000, 4000 pound ones that are yay big, your arm gets really tired. Well, not only tired, if you snag onto something that, like a yeah. beam or something, that's, you lost your magnet. Exactly. Hey, our, we our ends that. are still taped nice though. Yeah. That's Gloves, guys. First thing I always uh, remind you guys, if you're gonna magnet fish, first of all, be careful. These magnets are very powerful. Number two, always have gloves. I'll show you why here in a little bit. Some of the stuff we pull up is extra rusty, sharp, dangerous. You never know if you could be pulling out a nasty needle or a knife or something, right? But without further ado, let's get into it. If y'all are glad magnet fishing is back and you want more, you gotta smash a thumbs up. If this video right now can get 2,000 likes right now, I will promise to do one magnet fishing video a week at minimum for the rest of the summer. I know the water's really clear. No wind today, thank goodness. Here we are, first dock of the day. We are locked, loaded, ready to go. I don't know if we've ever done this one, Dad. Never, never. Oh, we've never done it. I didn't even know it existed. We came here the other day and this whole freaking dock was just coated with people. One dude came down the ramp off he went on a bicycle he he stayed a, he kept a hold of it and got it back out but it just showed me man this is gonna be a good one i guess i'll start here no better place here we go oh it's not too deep like seven foot right here six foot not bad oh boy i'm, I'm excited i think we could find some good stuff here Mmm, feels like something just bounced or something here. Come on, give me something. Come on! Oh. Well, you know what time it is. Start chucking it. Just never know what you're gonna pull up. Hi, Freed. Come on, give us something good today. I feel it. Today is the day it's gonna happen. That's what I ain't seen before. What? What'd you get? Twisted tea. <laughs> Never even heard of You're that. supposed to make me guess, remember? This is one thing me and dad always preach about. Don't throw your tops in the water. Throw them in the trash, guys. That's a really fresh one, too. That, that not, is. Not very old at all. Got an old hook. Oh, well, you got an old hook on there, too. <laughs> so the hook, reason number one, to wear gloves. Ooh, something just latched on there. Feel heavy? Yeah, oh, it's heavy. I don't know what. Can't be mud. I, I heard it go click. Oh, I can see it. What is it? I know. Oh! 
Oh, that has to be the second, third one we found. Yeah. <sighs> Look at that. It's been, the, ooh, it's been in there for a little bit. One of the trucks down there. Oh, yeah, the truck. <laughs> <laughs> the, look, the nut's still on it and everything. I'll be darn. Think someone uses those like as a big old fishing weight or something? I wouldn't think so. Put on some heavy, heavy braid and catch some big old flathead? I wouldn't. I don't know. Well, well there we go. I don't know the reason for that being in there. Find, that's only find number two of the day. If it keeps going like that, that is going to be good stuff. I think I got a couple from last year at home. I don't know what that's like. I'm thinking the third, second, third one we found in the last couple seasons. But that is bucket material. Old bucket material. That's that's pretty good material. That could actually probably be reused. Usually what I mean by bucket material is old hooks or, uh, you know, lead weights or just pretty much junk. Everything's pretty much bucket material until we go over it. And yeah, it. bucket material until we look at the end of the video and go over everything that we found, like Dad said. But but there we go, guys. You know what to do. Come on. Just drag it a little bit from there to there. Check it again. Nothing. The thing is, I get a lot of messages, guys, and a lot of comments down below. Uh, Y'all, you know, you, buy, you go and buy your magnets off Amazon or wherever, which is fine. But a lot of you guys seem like you might get discouraged because you don't find anything. Guys, this is pure treasure hunting. This isn't, it's just like hunting, you know. Some days are good, some days are bad. It's out here and if it isn't fun, then don't do it. You know, that's kind of kind of what I say about hunting in general. Because a lot of you know, or maybe don't know, is uh, we are definitely one of the largest waterfowl channels, waterfowl hunting in the world. And this is just kind of what me and dad do. In the off season y'all seem to like it i appreciate y'all being here Come on, go let get in the water. yeah well we're gonna head over to that other dock check it one more time nothing all right we're gonna go over to that dock well dad got what two bottle caps i got the hitch ball and this is the dock that we were originally talking about this is where my bro <laughs> my boat broke down dad Dad and I had it torn apart a little bit on the side of this boat dock for, I have no, probably a couple hours. So I can only imagine I'm not the only one that's tried to fix a boat here or drop something like tools or anything right here. This is where I had my boat. And that was a windy day from hey, <laughs> HE double hockey heavy. sticks. And your boat is heavy. Ugh. All right, let's give her a go. I'm gonna start right here where I want to. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start right here. This has got to be the money hole right here. How deep we're talking? Not very deep. Like I felt something click, maybe? Probably not. No. See all these rocks that get built up on there, guys? Where you have gloves, you can pull them all off. Did you hear uh, that? First I heard you go, ooh, ooh, ah. Oh. Then I heard it. It went and clicked there's something heavy that? there i don't i don't know uh, oh boy it's heavy and it is coming up it is really heavy oh my oh look at the bubbles what is that oh it's stuck oh it's a look not the first one of these we've caught before look at that oh okay hold on a minute let me get the magnet off hold on those are zebra mussels, aren't yeah. they? That's a bad deal. That's oh, there we go. So this, no, it's probably part of an old dock. Yeah, or look, one. it's those. Guarantee you, it's one of those that. Oh yeah, look. Look at the zebra mussels on that thing. Yeah, there's a bunch of zebra mussels on there. Those are zebra mussels, guys. It just full of. Them. That's why you need to wash your boats off when you go to new lakes. Yep. Scrub them down. Especially if you go from here to a private lake, you really need to wash them. But it look how bad they are down there. Oof. Bad. Or we might drag it up there and let them pull it out. Yeah, I think we will. Yeah, we better not throw it back. We'll help get it out. Maybe they wanted it in there. I don't know. What should we do? What'd you get there? My guess might would be part of a fishing rod holder. Yeah. See how it's, it's yeah, like let me a see clip. It. Yeah. 
maybe <laughs> who knows well there we go big find wow never know what it's going to be like i said you just never know better give her a check oh there we go old screw <sighs> yeah the normal oh darn it oh gosh it's stuck oh no oh i'm stuck on this pole down there come on oh there we go Woo! about lost her about lost her got a screw though <laughs> it was all worth it bucket material uh, that is a really old hook extremely old get it out of the water though you might be stuck on a rock <laughs> what'd you do i'm stuck <laughs> we need to pull that way you ain't got enough rope. really ain't got enough rope to get around that way what do we do here <laughs> <laughs> i'm stuck on something on the boat on the boat ramp itself oof yeah, it might be on that corner. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know, man. That's... <laughs> Oof. Not good. Not no. good at all. Go that way up that side. Know what I mean? Yeah. See if you can pull it that way. Might get it. Yeah, now we're over this way. See if you can give her a good pull now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Using the pull. Uh, oh, what good. the heck could I be caught on a program? Oh no, no, here, let me help. Grab, here, come this way with it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my. It is really stuck. <laughs> what could possibly be on that concrete? I don't know, let, me, that... let me see that. Holy cow. Oh, yikes. About rebound me right back in the water. Hey. Uh oh. Well, uh, we tied my rope to to Dad's. Now we can reach over here. Ooh, we got some lime juice growing there. See if we can pull her out now. Hopefully. Look, Fred says he'll help. Mm. All right. Give her all you got. We might have to. Hey, we might have to tie her to the truck. Back the truck down the <laughs> yeah. down the boat ramp and it's get her magnet. Yeah, get her magnet back. Ooh, there's a water moccasin right there. Look, a whole nest of yep. them. That's a walk up water moccasin. Ooh, they're look at them. Ooh, one, two, three of them. Ugh. Get back, Fred. Here. That's a cotton mouth. All right, try to pull that bad boy out. That freaked me out. I hate snakes. Oh no, it won't There's even. No come. way. Something. Oh no. Oh, oh there it is. We got it. I was like, after I seen that, I ain't getting in there. I ain't getting bit by no copper-headed water moccasin. Oh, hi there, Frederico. Well, next place. This, uh, me and dad chose to come to this one. This is our third dock here. Uh, because we have had, over the years, really, really good luck at this one. Uh, we found some good knives here. We found multiple lawn chairs. We have found a little bit of everything here. Let's get at it. Eh, got something on there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Piece of metal. Remember this dock? Oh, yeah. We find yeah. a lot of this stuff, remember? Yeah. Bucket. Almost looks like welding rod. Look at this. We got a bottle cap. Guess. Ooh. You'll never guess it. I'll never guess it. No. <laughs> yeah, kind of close. Seagram's. <laughs> bucket material whoops i missed got anything except for mud bunch of metal, bunch of metal. i feel like something hooked on there. Ah! <laughs> oh uh -huh. yeah look at that little boot tail little boot tail uh jig bait that's usable and look endless yeah, me look, it's just a gold one. Oh. There we go. First bait of the season. Not bad. I'll take it. Heck yeah. Keep her going. Come on, Dad. Yeah. Come on. Got something here. Do you? Something heavy? What well, was? I know I got hooked up over here earlier and right out there. 
This is an awesome dock. This dock, y'all, actually gets used for fishing a bunch. And that's the docks that you want to concentrate on. The boat docks uh, at where the boat ramps are are kind of useless because people are in and off their boat. They're not just chilling out here fishing. A lot of people come out here, you know, fish all night and uh, end up, you know, unfortunately throwing trash in and losing tackle or pliers or whatever it might be, you know. So, if you're going to do some magnet fishing, concentrate on the fishing docks. There's definitely something on here. That, like, 100%. Something pretty heavy. You got a bunch of stuff on yours? Bud Light. Bud Light. Two more bottle caps. Yeah. Who would have known? Whatever this is, is on here, Dad. Seriously. Oh, don't come off. It's on there. It's heavy. What? A oh, tire. A, a tire. We better leave that in there. I can't, you can't make that up. Uh, oh, look! In a special guest. Uh, another Seagram's. Really old one. Well, never caught a tire before. Well, me and Dad have resorted to just slinging them. Like so. Now, one major thing, guys. Do not do that and not have a hold of your rope. Because your magnet will be bye-bye. Guaranteed. Ooh. Ooh. God, what is that? This really lets go, hooks on and then lets go. Wow. What are you? Feels like it let go again, whatever it was. Anything good? Got something? Oh, what's that? Pull her out. What is that? What do you have there? <laughs> what do we have here? Okay. Yeah, looks like a net. An old net and then, oh, that's, don't know, an old net and then a piece of old metal. Wow. Old metal. Mm-hmm. Finding fortunes out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where it caught on. You got something? I'm gonna believe it. Nuh uh. I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> no, I guarantee it's a multi tool. Nope. Pliers. Nope. Well, I don't know. Oh, the first one of the year. Gosh, I bet you. It just shows you. <laughs> How long is it? Look at the inside. It hadn't been in there very long. It's not a very old one. <laughs> That's uh, the belts that go on the end of your pole when you're fishing, if you didn't know. Not you, but people at home. What else you got? Uh, what brand is that? Can't uh, Heineken. And Heineke. then an old old hook. Yep, that's a, the bell though. We usually I find like bells. two or three a year. Good one. Well, we are in the money. Not really, but having fun. That's what it's all about. Man, there's something right there that keeps doing the same thing too. Just. Hooking on, letting go, hooking on, letting go, hooking on, letting go. What are you? Oh, look at that. Two in the same place. Oh, look, you can tell it's the same guy opening them, how he opened them. Come on, y'all. All my grown adults out there having your beverages, last place they need to go is in the water. Come on. We can do better. I got a mess here. Oh, check it out. First one of those of the year. And that's an old, old, old one. Look at that. Really old. Old champion. That's a spark plug. Yep. Look how long that's been in there. It's been in there a while. Huh. Long while. Well, last one of the day. See if we got anything. Oh, look, Dad's not done. Oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, I, I'm gonna start I saying. I like that. I'm gonna start saying last one of the day more often. Look at that. Oh man, Bodie, Bodie, Bodie boy would love that. Yeah, little spoonbill uh, jig. Yeah, it's Double nice. tri two little trebles going that bad boy. That's a good one. That's a keeper. And we got another beer cap, Bud Light. Well, maybe we're not done here. What'd you get? Ooh, bush light. That's a guy's favorite right there. 
lots of bottle it's unreal how people just think that it's okay to throw trash in the water i don't get it it's okay when you lose a bait a plastic bait a rubber bait you know but just to intentionally pop a top and every time pop a top throw it in there pop a top throw it i don't understand that it's not okay guys that's what ruins public fishing and hunting opportunities for the rest of us uh, so if you see your buddy doing it or anybody just be like hey you know like throw that in your pocket that would probably be better than using the lake as a trash can anything on her Ugh, all kinds of just random metal all right buddy go 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 look he says i don't want to jump in right here dad go 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 frederick ah oh, why are you being a scaredy boy you can go right over there and get out you big dog look he's an otter what'd you get he got fishing line right there grab the fishing line that's hooked to your deal there was, there was something long about this one. Oh, really? And it fell back in. Ooh. You cool off, buddy? Oh, not me. Not me at all. I am hot. We're going to have to get some magnet fishing in before it yeah. gets 100 degrees and humid out. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, we need to go hit the really good spot. I mean, we this is a good spot. I like this spot. Yeah. But it's not our best spots that we know about no we know some good spots this is not a bad day at all we're trying to save the good good spots uh for last or next you know kind of spread them out get as much as many magnet fishing videos that we can uh uploaded to you guys this season so i know you guys have been waiting for them we're here we're back let's look at our finds um i would say the three my fa three favorites the hitch, the jig, and the bell, by far. Yeah, you I know? agree. I think these, like these three deals right here, this is what we usually go after. Uh, like I said, uh, it being a fishing dock, you, you have to concentrate on the fishing docks to find good stuff like that. All this stuff, like I was saying, come on, spread the good word. Yeah, the bear can't, the bear tops you're going to find anywhere and everywhere. Especially the fishing docks. Know what I mean? The boat docks, the boat ramps, you ain't going to find all this. People are operating vehicles. Yeah. Here, people are operating the boat. old fishing yeah. pole. They're, just, that's, they're fishing and fishing and... But not a bad day. Uh, not our best, not our worst by far. It is humid. We are going to get out of here. Subscribe if you guys have not smash a little notification bell down there it'll notify when dad and i and fred when, when we upload uh just put up a hunting video go check that out with uh, the world's smallest shotgun shell that was fun but if you guys have any ideas anything that you want me and dad to do maybe there's a new magnet out that we don't know about maybe there's something cool on amazon to buy that you guys know about and we don't drop a comment down there and let us know because we want to bring those types of videos to y'all but thank y'all for being here until next time. Getting mad, cause I've been